Ciao, my name is Max and I have a question for you. Do you like sound design? And do you often find yourself tweaking those knobs like in some sort of nirvana until you just get the perfect sound? And don't you hate it when there is no more possibilities to improve? Do you ever wonder if there are new ways to create sound? Or better, if there are ways to achieve new sound that never existed before? Well, I do. And I will never stop looking for them. Shh. I'm canalizing the energy from Nirvana. And it says that you're here for vowel form. Haha, -ha, got you there. Today, vowel form is finally out and we're going to check it out together. And I'm excited as hell. It's out today, you can get it on maxforlife.com or Gumroad. Check the links in the description below. What is vowel form? It is a form and filter. And if you don't know what is a form and filter, check this video where I explain all the science behind it. But basically this device. Hello, Max from the future here. My explanation there was a bit confusing. So here I am again. I will try to be brief because the full tutorial will be uploaded in a few days. So in this central panel, we have these nodes or vowels and their interpolation area, which are these colored circles. So we can morph between them using this blue pointer or dragging these sliders. The circles can be dragged around and resized by pressing ALT and dragging them. Active voices refers to filters and enables them from the lowest to the highest. Here we have a Q or resonance value. Down below a compressor for last gain, which is as well tied to the Q value. So more the Q, more the compression. The Q parameter has also another setting that increases its value inside of a node. In this case, Q parameter sets the maximum value instead of being fixed. Dry wet knob works in the same fashion in this mode. The gain sets the overall amplitude of our filters. Enhance mode will set the same gain for all of them. And fixed mode will set natural exponentially decreasing values. Q and gain can also be linked to the morph section at the other side of the central panel. Here's a few examples of how morph works for Q parameter. Mirror. An odd even. When the Q and the gain are both linked to morph, the gain inverts its polarity. Morph has as well two different settings. Set will work only on the active voices and all will work on all of them regardless if they're active or not. The voice range will obviously change the frequencies of the filters. The button above vowel form logo will open an additional tab in which you can customize active voices in this row, set minimum values of the Q and gain of each one of the filters, or if you want to decrease a minimum or a maximum value for all of the filters, just hover over the stacks on the top and the overall numbers will compare. Next section will permit you to disable nodes on the central panel and set custom vocal range for each vowel. The lower section sets the spread of Q values, detune of left and right frequencies in odd even fashion and an overall width. Okay, so if you're interested in vowel form and 
I hope you are. I have good news for you. It's on sale right now with 69% off, which makes it cost only $1 and you get all the updates for free. Okay? This is not even a Big Mac, not even a seventh of the subscription to Serum, okay? Just get it, it's $1, come on, and you get all the updates free. Okay, okay, I know, you're not convinced yet, okay? Well, you, know, you say, you know, no, minor updates, why should, I should I care? Why should I care for minor updates? Well, before the end of the year, I will make another option for different styles of filters. I'm thinking of Moog ladder filter, I'm thinking of like Digital 24, 12, get it. Get Wildform right now, only for one dollar. You may be not, you may be not convinced yet. Okay, what if I tell you that you can make dope sounds with it? Dope sounds. Look what happens here. Have an LFO tool, which sends different values to our x-axis, y-axis pointer. Look at this. And you can get infinite modulations. It will be never the same. You can also increase these. Okay, like that. Okay, and it's so subtle, but it's so beautiful, okay? Let's hear it without bowel form. Mm, no, 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 so thin, without character, you know, but with bowel form. Mm, yeah, just hitting right. I'm, ju I'm just saying. Let's hear something else, okay? This is not another patch, okay, which has bowel form. W what is going on here? Okay, so we modulated the y-axis pointer. Okay, so it goes down and up again and say so like, oh, without power form? Not liking that. Yes, okay, yes. Just some nice formants into your sound. What about this one? Without power form. Okay, it's already somewhat not, somewhat in the area of, oh my God, we have two of them. That's why it was so, Wobbly, okay, let's go, let's go. Without two vowel forms. This seems like Grinch was brushing his teeth. Now this is like a monster in some cave, okay, without the bass. Have the bass on the other patch, this is our bass. You don't need vowel form on everything. I'm just saying that you can get some really cool stuff with it. This patch, let's hear it without vowel form. Uh, 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 what is this, this is... This is not even a bird, okay? Now it's a bird. <laughs> it even has that... This is what I'm liking. I want to give character to this sound. By the way, shout out to Eliminate. E. Did you watch the Ableton 11 video and you were like, yes! Everyone's like, fuck yes! And you're like, I agree! <laughs> Did. Okay, just pass to Ableton. Get vowel form. Can you can you do that with kilohertz format filter? Can you put your nose like you want and just okay? Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you set the Q values? I don't think so. Okay, we have ah here, a little bit of a ah in the middle. Okay, but not so much, so it get, gets like interpolated a bit all the way up. Sixty-five percent of dry wet soprano. Do you know what is this? I will call it riser. Okay, this is a riser. Let me check it with that. I mean, it's a good riser. I'm not saying that this is bad, but with vowel form. This is some actually cool stuff. You put another little bit of flange in here and there. Okay, this is going crazy right now. Okay. Let's go, let's go back to our pads, okay? Here I have Speedfire Long Wire. There are different voices there, like the bass goes ooh, and uh, the other one goes eh, the other one goes e, ah, whatever. Let's take vowel form. Let's actually use it before the ladder filter. But I'm not saying kilohertz are bad, I mean, I love kilohertz. I absolutely adore kilohertz. I'm just saying, you can you can get vowel from only for one dollar. Now they all say an E. O. Now they are all saying O. Let's go like alto A, okay? Alto A.
I will show you a cool trick and say it will go sine wave, okay? And we put it on Y axis. Let's take the X axis and we do double that, okay? Double, 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 duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, watch what happens. See that? It's now going an infinite. It's an infinite symbol right now. The symbol of infinity, okay? We are f***ing Avengers right now, okay? <laughs> so that's the trick. You set the sine wave at one tempo, okay? And the other sine wave should be double that. That vowel form right now. 69% off till the end of the year, only one dollar. If you're still not convinced, okay, there will also be a free trial. You can check the link in down in the description below, okay? If you want more updates on my future development of foul form, check my Instagram. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because we are all about fishing rods and not the fish. And yeah, I love you all. See you soon. Ciao. Power for